Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and today we're gonna learn how to make this autumn vintage truck decor piece. This is super cute and it is so fun to make. We're gonna take an adorn it kit and we're gonna alter it and tweak it and add a little vinyl, a little felt, and use my free cut file that I made that you can get on my website. So without further ado, let's jump in and let me show you how to make this super cute truck. And as always, all supply links are down in the information section. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> So we're gonna take this cute truck wooden set that is from Adorn It, and it comes with the truck base, it comes with the wheels, the hubcaps, the over tires, not really sure what that part's called, but it goes over top of the tires. We're gonna paint the truck a beautiful patina color. All the paints we're gonna be using are from Folk Art. These are all plaid paints. And then we're gonna paint each of the different sections. So we also have the wheels, basic black, we're gonna go with black, and then we have the hubcaps and the over the tire section. We get an old fashioned truck. We're gonna do that in a little bit of a vintage color. And then there's also the haystack, which is gonna be a straw color. It's actually called a sunflower. So we're gonna give each of those a nice good base, let everything dry. And then with the truck, we're gonna give it a second coat and give it a little bit of a weathered look. That's the best way to describe it. So we're gonna take a mixture of two different paints. We're gonna take parchment, and we're also going to take a vintage white and mix them together and just very lightly give it a kind of a dusting coat on top and then I'm gonna take a little bit of a paper towel and kind of wipe it clean and then add a little bit back with the patina color just to soften it up so it gives it kind of a weathered look over top of the whole truck and then let everything dry starting with three different colors of Kuhn and Felt. The first one is an olive green and I have three pumpkin dyes from Maker's Move. And I'm gonna die cut each of the shapes in the green first. I'm gonna take a rusty brown color and then a pretty, it's called pumpkin spice in felt as well. And die cut the same three pumpkins in those two colors. We're gonna cut the green stem portion of the pumpkin off the green and we're gonna glue it onto the tops of the other colors of pumpkin, the orange and also the brown to make it look like it's got a green top on the pumpkin. So once the little green tops are attached to the pumpkins, I'm just taking a little bit of some raffia straw, straw, raffia, twine, anything you want to, and tie it around the top just to kind of finish it. It just adds a little something. So now that everything is dried, it's time to start assembling all the pieces. I'm gonna use my Xyron hot glue pen, first glue on the wheels, which are the black parts, and then the covers that go above, and then the hubcaps, each getting a little, own little dollop of glue. And then about putting the haystack up at the top, and then each of the three pumpkins that are gonna be nestled on top of the haystack. So the next step is to head over to my website and get your free cut file. It's a give things cut file. So like purchase and then check out and then make sure you enter all your information and it will be emailed to you. Once you've downloaded the file, upload it into whatever program you're using to do your cuts. I use Cricut. Make sure you upload it into the program and it comes as give and thanks and then two little leaves. You can size it however you wish, but I'm gonna show you how to separate it. So we're gonna ungroup everything and then select the parts that are the words and then regroup. I'm gonna size that down to be a little bit smaller and then I'm going to duplicate the leaves. I want some of the leaves to be a little bit smaller as well, so I just size down a couple of them by just dragging them to be a little bit tinier. And when I cut this, I want everything to cut as it is. The give and the thanks and all the pieces together, so I'm gonna select all the pieces and make sure they say attach. Go to cut. And and because this vinyl is a little bit different, we need to select this to be a metallic vinyl. Like Cricut works a whole lot better when you select the right surface that you're gonna cut on. And then I did a little bit more pressure. So then what you're gonna do is attach your vinyl onto your sticky mat and then load it into your Cricut once you've turned it on. Make sure you hit cut on your Cricut and then cut away. This is a brush chrome vinyl from Style Tech Craft and I thought it would be perfect with this particular project because it looked like it was cut out of metal which you might find on a vintage truck. So once you pull your vinyl out of your Cricut, just make sure that you go through and weed it all out, get all the bits and pieces that you don't want anymore, and a little fine tooth pick will work really well. There's a whole bunch of them. One of them is even from a style tech craft. We're gonna start off with the word give thanks and place the transfer tape on there. Peel it off and then transfer it over to our truck. And we're gonna place it right in between in the middle of the two tires. And I'm gonna transfer over each of the two vines. I'm gonna put a couple on the hubcaps because they're nice and small and sized them down they fit just perfectly. A couple on the front and the rear of the wheels. Uh, a little bit kind of pulling away from the word give thanks. And then one on either side of the window up at the top. So thank you guys so much for watching and learning how to make this super cute truck that was from a little wooden kit and adding a little felt, some vinyl, and of course that free cut file. Don't forget to jump over to my store and find it. As always, the file links are down in the information section. Scroll on down to find them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Please don't forget to say Stay safe and just create t-shirts down the link. Bye everybody.